So the human body can move in multiple ways, but these individual movements need to be choreographed together to create something beautiful and complete like a dance. Our DNA also functions the same way. Our DNA can be read in multiple ways, but this reading needs to be tightly controlled and choreographed to create a complete and healthy cell. This choreography is laid out by the cell's epigenetics. Epigenetics is the patterns of marks that sit on DNA and determine when sections are read. Much like how choreography determines when particular muscles and limbs are used in a dance. We know that this epigenetic choreography is highly deregulated in cancer, but what we don't fully understand is how this happens. So let's imagine a teacher is teaching two classes of students a dance routine. The first class pays attention and learns the choreography effortlessly. Everything goes smoothly and they put on a beautiful performance. However, the second class gets constantly disrupted by factors out of their control. They fail to pick up the choreography, and when it comes to the performance day, they can't pull it off and it looks a mess. This scenario also applies to epigenetics in cell division. The entire DNA and all the epigenetic marks are duplicated during cell division, and this is a very delicate process. This essentially wipes the slate clean, and the epigenetic choreography needs to be retaught to the new DNA. If the marks are copied correctly, you have healthy, coordinated cells. If the duplication process is stressed or disrupted, these marks are not copied correctly and the choreography is lost. We know that this DNA duplication process is often disrupted in cancer, and I hypothesize that this is how we get the epigenetic changes we see in cancer. So my PhD project is to look at epigenetic deregulation when there's a deregulation in DNA duplication. My lab has a prostate cancer cell model where this process is already disrupted and I'll compare its changes to a normal prostate cell model. I will also use drugs and chemicals known to stress DNA duplication and see the changes it has on the epigenetics. This will show how environmental stress to the duplication process can lead our cells to developing epigenetic defaults and predispose ourselves to cancer. My studies will answer some key questions about cancer development <coughs> and how epigenetics can become so deregulated in cancer. I hope that this information will help us preserve our epigenetic choreography so that we can prevent our beautifully choreographed cells from changing into daggy dad dancing cancerous <laughs> cells.